Hello, Tetrad here, back for another stroll down Nostalgia Avenue. So a couple of years ago, I see this video with Joe Jackson presenting a drum machine to the crowd like it was a lost member of the band. And it turns out that this is a Korg Rhythm 55, and he used it for the original Steppin' Out track, one of my favorites. I also wondered if the bass was maybe a machine as well, and it turns out uh, he says, yes, it was programmed with a synth. There are two synthesizers listed on the track, a Mini Moog and a Prophet 5. I'm guessing it was probably the Mini Moog that created the bass sound, but we're not really sure. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. Let's recreate this track on the Korg Volca sample, the Volca bass, and the Volca FM. And that's where it gets a little bit tricky because punching those chords in uh, can take some persistence. So unfortunately I don't have a Volca Beats, which is an analog drum synthesizer, but I do have a Korg Volca sample too. So I figured let's just adjust these three patches, the kick, the uh, snare, and the closed hi-hat. And let's see how it turns out. So start with a kick sample in part one. We're going to use uh, the first kick drum sample. But here's a sheet of all of the patches and the settings. All right, so for the kick sample, we want the start point to be zero. Uh, make sure the length is all the way up. And we'll set the high cut to about 70. All right, we want to make sure the speed also is at zero straight up. And we're going to set these on steps 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. So the tempo for the track is likely 158. But in order to fit the bass track in one part, uh, I shift it down to 79. So that basically gives us two measures per part. Let's see, we're gonna move to part number two, which is the snare. And for the snare, we want to use patch number 23. And again, start point's gonna be zero. We're gonna set the length to 88, the high cut to 95. And we're gonna turn the speed down to minus nine to give a little deeper sound. So this we're gonna program into slots number three, seven, 11, and 15. So let's move to part three. And this is gonna be sample number 45 for a closed hi-hat. It's pretty sharp sounding. We're gonna clip off the front a little bit, turn the uh, start point to 13, turn the length to 85. And we're gonna take a little bit off the high end and set that to 123. And we're just gonna make sure that the speed is still zero for this particular patch. And we're gonna put this on every step. Okay, let's check it out. So I like to set the swing to about three. It sounds about right. 30 is way too much. But three sounds about right. And there we go. Oh, let's also add some motion uh, sequencing on the hi-hat to give a little character. All right, that sounds good. Let's move over to the Korg Volca bass now. Here's the patch we'll be using. It 
So we want to set the peak and the cutoff for the VCF to 4. Straight up is 5. 4 is just one tick to the left. And now for the envelope generator, we want to set the decay release to 6.5, a, a little to the right of the 5. And then the cutoff for the envelope generator should be at 4. And we want the LFOs to be off, both set at 0. Now for the VCO pitch, uh, 1 will be set to off, 2 will be negative 12 cents, and 3 I like to set uh, to 12, a whole octave up, 12N, to give it a little more punch. And we want to set the VCO 2 and 3 waveform to square to give it a more rubbery sound. And also make sure that all of the LFO targets are off. And the tempo, we want to keep it 79. So that will let us use two whole measures on one sequence to fit it into one part. So this track was recorded in the key of F sharp originally. I've shifted it down to E, so it will be easier to record the sequence on the bass and the Volca FM. So we'll start at octave one. We'll clear the track, and we'll enable step record mode. And the first note's going to be an octave one, M8. Then we'll switch to octave two, M8 again. Then octave one, M8, octave two, M8. And we're going to stay in octave two and play M1, then 13. Then M3, then 15, then M8, and then up to octave 3, another M8, down to octave 2 again, for M3, and then 15, then M1, 13, and finally M3, 15. All right, let's give that a listen. Sounds good. Now let's move over to the Korg Volca FM for the final part of the sequence. I found this patch online that sounded pretty close to me. Baby Grand. The track says it was a Yamaha CP70, but the CP70 patches I was able to find I didn't really like, so this is what I'm using here. To get started, you can just use the e-piano or the marimba patch if you don't have a piano patch you want to use. But let's start by setting the tempo here to 79. We're going to be using four tracks starting with track six through track nine, and we're gonna fit about two measures per track. So the first chord is an E major chord, and I start by playing E, G sharp, B simultaneously, and then just E and G sharp. And then when it loops, I play F sharp, G sharp, We'll save that on track six. And we clear the track. And now we're going to record a D major chord and then a C sharp minor seven chord progressively. So first we're going to play the upper end of each chord. And now we're going to play the lower end of each chord. So that's the first four measures, or our first two tracks, so we'll save that to track seven. So we're gonna clear the track and record three major chords in a row, G, A, and D, inverted. That's the bottom half, now we'll do the top notes. Sounds good, so let's save that to memory eight. We're gonna clear the track record the last three major chords 
C, D, and G. All right, let's save that to memory nine. All right, let's check out what we have so far. Okay, I really don't like how that first section turned out, so I'm going to go back and program that again. turned out way better. So let's save that to track six. So when I jam with this, I like to try different patches. Marimba is really great. So is the E-Piano patch shown earlier. The Glocken patch works good. There's a Music Box patch that sounds great too. So try different sounds and use that transpose slider to mix it up. All right, here we go. Time for the jam. Thanks for listening, guys. Power on.